esteemed guests, my mentors, my dear teachers and distinguished faculty, proud and excited families in the background, my mom and dad and three sisters watching in the other room, and my fellow friends and family, class of 2020. It's surreal to be here, in part because of the global situation, but also because I can never forget coming in freshman year as excited as we were with our new bags and ties tied up all the way to the top. And I remember being amazed at the diversity in thought before race or religion that I found amongst you. And so to be speaking to you today is a real privilege to say the least. Before addressing anything, I wish to start with a short story. You see, in my bedroom when I was seven years old, I had a picture of Albert Einstein on the wall because all my seven-year-old self could think of was becoming the next big scientist. And so after taking and struggling with 10th grade chemistry, I saw my dreams almost entirely shatter in front of me. And so to make myself feel better, I told myself that I'm not a science person, that I never was. The arts and humanities were definitely my thing because it was easy to define myself as one thing and not the other. But you see, there was a danger in doing so because by continuously repeating this phrase, I was imposing upon myself a defining characteristic, one that I saw lead to almost every single decision I made in the last two years. And so now, it saddens me to see everyone around me defining my senior year as one thing and telling me that it has to suck because of COVID-19. Because of anything, it's not going to be this that I'm going to remember. It's going to be the short moments of catching up with my friends in the hallway between class, of ordering pizza on our birthdays to celebrate each other in front of the middle school. It's going to be my small conversations with Mr. John Leisler in his office or, my, or my advisor, Ms. Maram, because Kinta has given us the room to build such great relationships. It's going to be cheering with my friends in Nihal, a place I really never imagined I'd call home or competing against the other dorms and especially Mesa in the annual lip sync. As funny and ironic as it may sound, but I miss Kovu kicking me out of my friends' rooms at 4 a.m. one last time because I wasn't supposed to be there. I miss the OSL chasing me when I sleep in and seeing Miss Julianne put so much effort into each and every single school meeting. I miss running from the library to make it on time for checking and saying salam to Mr. Jazzy as I leave one final time. Graduating from King's is special because of the opportunities it has given us. It's a dream come true for my freshman self and many of us before, when you, even when we are applying. I wish to remember the times our experience has exceeded our expectations and use this time to reflect on the defining characteristics we have imposed upon ourselves in the last four years or even our entire lives. Before leaving you, I wish to share a final thought. It's a memory from my favorite class this year, AP European History with Mr. William Ballinger. We talked about the age of enlightenment, where enlightened thinkers would gather to think independently away from what generations have been taught to think. And I remember relating at that moment, although trivial, their era to our current generation. And at that moment, I understood a phrase that we are continuously told at Kings that my freshman, sophomore, and junior self misunderstood. The king wants us back, they tell us, with our enlightened and intellectual minds, but what does that really mean? I think I finally understand. The king doesn't necessarily want us to physically come back, as that may not be feasible for some of us, or is a matter of personal choice, but the vision remains true to each and every single one of us. Please do not forget to represent yourselves as proud King's Academy scholars, wherever you are or wherever you're from, at a time where misrepresentations at its peak. And don't forget to keep the drive for change this institution has instilled within us and remember who we really are at heart. Thank you, King's Academy. Who'd know that seven-year-old scientists would be applying for film school 10 years later? And thank you, class of 2020. It's been great. It really, really has.